And so I turn up with all my camera gear and no memory cards. Good morning, everybody. And what's cracking? It's Ralph here. It's like uh, five o'clock in the morning after driving like 100 hours last night to get to Harvey Bay to go whale watching. And I wasn't even thinking about vlogging this until, all right, I was really. It's going to be fun. Come with me. Let's go. see today good old humpback off Harvey Bay that's about life size of a whopper too so this is gonna be good I'm extremely excited because I forgot all my XQD cards rendering my Z6 completely useless so I'm gonna have to shoot on my Nikon ZFC and problem solve that as we go I'm really excited about that but um, yeah the conditions are looking splendid it's fresh the sun's just rose not a cloud in the sky and it's no wind. So at the moment it's nice and smooth and calm, which should be delightful. up this morning on a camera trip on a photo trip came here specifically to take photos and forgot all my XQD cards which are the equivalent to SD cards for the Nikon Z6 so we're gonna do whale shooting today with the Nikon Z FC and I think this surely is not a video out there because it's not the camera's not designed to do that sort of photography however today it will and I'll show you how we go
So here we are back on safe ground again. I hope you enjoyed some of those highlights and I want to talk about my whale watching adventure because the original plan for this weekend was to go down to Vivid Festival in Sydney. That's where they shoot the uh, pictures and the colours onto the Opera House and various other things and we had it all booked in and then the world turned to mud and as a result we had to replan. So we've driven up the coast four hours to Harvey Bay where it is known for its whale watching. What happens is the whales come and they breed and give birth and so forth and then they travel back and they drift into Harvey Bay where they love it because it's nice and calm and sheltered and they hang out there and then they move back out and go further down the coast. So where I come from is fairly um, populated with whales in the right seasons. However, at Harvey Bay, you get a lot of interaction with them. It's the place to go to photograph whales. So I get up this morning and I'm ready to, to, to shoot. And I check my camera and it's got no memory card in it. I use XQD cards and the um, Nikon Z6. I'm like, oh, that's okay. I've got spares. And I go to my bag and I've taken them all out because I think I was going to um, format the lot and sort them all out. But then our holiday got delayed because my little boy was sick and it was all a mess and I, my head was not in the game. And so I turn up with all my camera gear and no memory cards. And because it's not SD card, they're XQD cards, you need a specific sort of card to fit in the camera, which I didn't have. The only camera I had was my Nikon Z FC. This is not a pro camera. This is not a whale watching camera. This is all I had. And so I, I went out with this. Does this look ridiculous to you? It felt a bit ridiculous. So this is a FTZ adap adapter, which is um, the F mount to the Z mount. That's what's called FTZ adapter. And this is the beast. It's uh, my 150 to 600 Tamron lens, which um, I've talked about a fair bit on this channel and I've really um, appreciate this lens. But look at this, this is fully extended, right? It's like a toy camera stuck on the end of a cannon. So I had no other option but to go out with this. Now my first piece of advice, if you're going whale watching to take photographs, is to take two bodies, neither of which are this camera, two bodies. One has a 24 to 70 for nice up close when they come up close to the boat. And the other has a big telephoto lens zoom capacity on it so that you can get them when they're breaching and slapping and doing all that. We didn't see any breaches. It was a bit disappointing in that regard, but we got a lot of other shots, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video. So you're going to see how good this camera does on whale watching tours. Now, the other challenge with whale watching tours is the boat is constantly doing this. So you try and hold this still at 600 millimeters while you're doing this. It's no easy task. The thing weighs about two kilos. So already the guns are heating up and you're feeling this is hard. Now, here's what was fascinating. I didn't, this is my camera strap, which I had on. And you, 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 you think, oh, I've got to do this. So you have to link around here. And on my Z6, you just lock it in and that puppy sticks to your hand. There's nothing to grip. See, the, you've got the front grips okay, but the back, every time you go and change the torque, the distance, focal distance on your lens with this hand, this hand steadies the camera, right? So you can go like this. But there's nothing. So what happens is you change your settings every single time you move the lens. That was quite frustrating. It was quite difficult. So if you're having a lens on this that's, that's bigger than the kind of the pancake collapsible kit mount lens that comes with this, that's about 14 to 50, something like that. If you're going with anything else um, that you can put on here with the F mount, be aware that there's nothing to grip the camera with because this, this, you see, it's just, there's, there's nothing. It was really tough. A further challenge is this body is very light. Now this lens is about two kilos. This is about half a kilo. 
little bit more, but about half a kilo. It's not very heavy at all. And the challenge becomes um, weight on the body stabilizes things. It means it's easier to hold still. It's easier to tuck into yourself. You feel like you're um, able to brace yourself with the camera, but because it's very small and there's no easy way of grabbing hold of it, you're at the mercy of the weight of the lens. And of course, the weight of the lens, because it's right out here, your center point of balance rather than being here is about here, um, as you can tell. So when a heavier body creates a center of balance that's much closer to the body and therefore can hold it in much more stabilized conditions. Uh, so it was a real drawback when it comes to shooting with a uh, in challenging circumstances and situations where there's a lot of movement, you really want a heavy body that you can hold close to you that can carry and bear and equal out some of the weight and therefore you'll get more stable shots. The other challenge is this doesn't automatically go to ISO. And I'm going to do another video about some of the limitations of this camera as well as some of the strengths of this camera in due course, but it doesn't have auto ISO as a button. So you have to rig one of your custom buttons to be able to put auto ISO on this. And it's still a two step process as opposed to just um, uh, clicking a button and going your focus wheel, which you can on most of the other Nikon. So that was, um, that was a real challenge and it does matter when you're shooting whales. So my base settings for when I shot whales was a shutter speed of 1 over 1250. It was an aperture of 8. And the reason I use an aperture of 8 and nothing shallower is because you're moving, your field of focus moves and shifts as you move. And so if you have a really thin, you can easily fall out of focus. If it's really wide, it's much easier to stay in focus right, F8, and I'd use auto ISO, which would range anywhere from 100 up to 1,000, depending on where I was and where the whales are and what was happening. Now, obviously, there was a lot of sunshine. There was a lot of um, uh, outside light, but if you're, um, if you're shooting into the dark depths of the water just here, uh, you, you need your auto ISO. So it was a challenge that that couldn't just be automatically put on and put off. I had to go into the menu, turn that on, and turn that back off. This is also a crop sensor, which means the beast that's normally 150 to 600 turns into a 225 to 900. And the problem with that is anything close to the boat, you're struggling, and anything with a focal length over 400, you get heaps of movement. So I have grown accustomed to my full frame. The other challenge is that you lose an f-stop on a crop sensor, and so it it made the lens work harder and I didn't have the ease of options that I have with my full frame gear. I should have brought my Z6 and my Z5 and my Z5 strapped to my chest with a, a short lens on it. So a 24 to 70 or even a 20 mil would have done it with a circular polarizing filter and then have my Z6 with this and the beast and it would have been happy days. So I said to, um, said to the crew um, that I was with, I'm like, when we get back to the coast, back to the Goldie, I want to have a fair crack at, at this again because I've learned so much from this trip where I went specifically to vlog and to take photos. Now you can't vlog on a whale ship for a few reasons. One, there's tons of people. Another is the motors are always running and the wind is roaring. So you wouldn't be able to hear a thing and the final reason is when everything stops, when the boat slows, the, the wind stills and the engine turns off, it's because you're shooting whales. And so you're hardly going to vlog when you should be shooting whales because the entire whale journey feels like you're on the way to the next greatest shot that in my case, I'm not sure I ever got, but I got some good ones. So whale watching takes a little bit to get your eye in, it takes a bit to get used to. You have to preempt and guess what the creatures are going to do before they do it so you can position yourself. You have to run from one side of the boat to the other, carrying a big lens, being careful you don't smash your lens or kill anyone or knock anyone like a small child overboard. Thankfully that hasn't happened, but you've stuck with me this long. So do you want to see the images I got? I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can like and subscribe just down below. If you'd like to join in the fun, there's a join tab. Check it out. There's a video that explains everything. Thanks so much for being a part of this adventure and I'll see you later. Bye.